Hi everyone, my name is Marius Kazanskis, and if you are a Grand Power Guns fan, you probably know me. If you don't, let me introduce myself a little. Uh, I'm with Grand Power for a while, for 10 years already. I am a factory shooter. Uh, I started with the handguns, then PCC. Now I'm coming back with the Grand Power Freya, with the R15. And today I will record the review of this gun. Uh, I recorded the review a little bit earlier, but I always say that it's a good time to put it all together after you have the result. So a few weeks ago, I shot my first level 3 competition with this gun, rifle level 3 competition. Uh, we have some guests from world's top 100, so I ended up third with uh, 98%. So it was a good result and I think it's a good time to show you, to tell you my setup, what I use, how it works and uh, much more details about that. So let's start. Okay, so let's start a little bit from the history. For the first time when I heard about this project, it was probably 2022, the beginning of the year. And when I heard that this will gonna happen, uh, I still was with the other rifle company. I was sponsored by Grand Power 2, but as they didn't have the, uh, the 223 line, so uh, I was in cooperation with the uh, other other company so it was like okay first of all when grand power re releases new guns for me it's like never ending christmas because it's time to get new guns to test them and all these fun things the second part the question was will it be as good as the my previous rifle so when i for the first time i went to the range to test it I can tell you one thing, with first two shots, uh, for first two 100 meter shots, I understood that it's gonna be a high-end rifle as promised. So I was really happy about it and I was like ready to do the more and more and more shooting and to do the job with this gun, to run lots of ammo through it and to test it in all possible ways. What did I change inside the gun? So my answer is always the same, nothing. Because I am first of all a user. I am not that type of person who goes inside the gun and plays all that laboratory things with the parts and tests the things, uh, well, to do such things you have to understand it 100%. I am not that kind of person. I leave it to the factory team who knows how this gun should work and they do all these things for me. So this is, is out of the box gun. Uh, the products which you see here, which are outside the factory is one to six scope, the Sightmark Presidio. Scope which I use for the competition. Of course, my beloved, uh, the Red Dot M-Spec Mini, which I have on absolutely all my competition guns on my Grand Power Excalibur for production optics, on my Strybok for the PCC, and even on my shotgun for the modified division. Uh, few more rails from Firefield and the red dot side mount is outside the factory too. Everything else is from the factory, from the box. So what you see here is my PCC gun, the Ground Power Strybok, and it's here because I always use the same length of PCC and rifle. Um, one of the reasons I always choose 16 inches barrels, because if I train PCC, the manipulations works for, for the rifle too. If I train rifle, the rifle manipulations work for the PCC too. So it's like a win-win situation. When I'm recording this part of the video, this gun shot around 3000 rounds. So far so good, absolutely no problem. Uh, I will test it until I break it. 
that's the part of the deal. Uh, so I hope, well, for at least a few thousand when something, when I feel, feel that something is wrong, we will see. But for sure, I will change all the bolt parts at the same time because I'm not that tired. I'm, I'm not changing part by part. I always, if I have any, any, if I feel that I have any, I can have any issues. I just change everything inside the bolt just to make sure, you know, not to get into the situation when something is wrong and you don't know because of which part you can only guess. So my choice always just to change everything inside the bolt and to run gun for additional thousands of rounds until you feel that something is not right again. Okay, so now a little bit about the setup. So as I mentioned, I would say the best red dot for me, Sightmark M-Spec, which as I said, I have it all on all my four competitive guns on handgun, PCC rifle and shotgun. So it's zeroed around for 15, probably 20 meters. I shoot normally with the red dot targets up to 40, maybe 45 meters. It depends of course of on target. And if the, uh, the, the target at a bigger distance, of course, I go to the scope, which is zeroed for 100 meters. As I am a Fiocchi factory shooter since 2016, I use their ammo, 55 grains. And the good thing that this ammo and this barrel have a very good cooperation because it goes like it says on the box. If it's zeroed for 100 meters, it goes around five centimeters down at 200 and around 30, I would say 30, 35 on 300. So it's for me, it's easy to remember and easy to know which uh, aiming point of the scope to use uh, by aiming uh, at a different distance. This is how the trigger works. Ground power muzzle brake. This is how it looks like. And so far it does the job really well. So here it is, the fun gun and the winning machine. I believe I will have some more nice results with it. If you will have any additional questions about the gun, maybe about the setup, maybe about the ammo, or maybe I missed something what is interesting to you, feel free to drop the questions to the comments and I will try to answer you as fast as possible. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for like this video, subscribe my channel and see you next time here or see you next time on the range.